My name is Meredith Holcomb, and I am an audiologist at the University of Miami, where I specialize in cochlear implants. I want to talk today about cochlear implant candidacy for adults. Over the years, I've worked with many patients who reach the point where their hearing aids are no longer the best option to treat their hearing loss. While their hearing aids may work sufficiently in easy listening conditions, like the quiet surroundings of their office or home, they often struggle in more difficult communication situations that are degraded by noise, speaker distance, or multiple conversations in the same space. Patients have told me that they try to get by with self-taught strategies such as positioning themselves for lip reading, going only to quiet restaurants, or using an assistive listening device. Family members note their loved one may nod and smile during conversations that they don't understand, or they rely on others to repeat words in context they've missed. Behaviors such as withdrawing from group conversations and social activities, avoiding the telephone, and even foregoing a promotion are fairly common because communicating is just too difficult. When I hear that my patients are planning their lives around their hearing loss, losing their independence, avoiding family and friends, and missing important moments in life, I know this is the time to begin discussions about cochlear implant candidacy. Two factors are involved in determining candidacy. First, it is necessary to evaluate the severity of one's hearing loss. And second, we must assess the patient's ability to understand speech with properly fit hearing aids. For adults 18 years of age or older to qualify for cochlear implantation, they can have hearing loss levels, as shown on this audiogram, that fall anywhere within this shaded area. A cochlear implant candidate typically will have bilateral, moderate to profound sensory neural hearing loss. Some adults may have usable low frequency hearing that is preserved during surgery. But a patient's degree of hearing loss is not the only indicator of how they hear and perform in real life. So tests of speech understanding in quiet and in noise are also necessary. A cochlear implant candidate will have poor speech understanding even when using appropriate hearing aid technology. An audiologist specializing in cochlear implants can determine if someone meets the criteria for a CI. Cochlear implants are a proven solution for providing access to hearing and speech understanding for patients who meet candidacy criteria. Instead of simply making sounds louder as hearing aids do, cochlear implants are performing the work of the damaged part of the inner ear so that meaningful sound signals can be sent to the brain. Research over the past 20 years has shown that the average cochlear implant recipient more than doubles their word understanding with a cochlear implant compared to outcomes with their hearing aids. Many who were unable to carry on a conversation with an unfamiliar person on the phone prior to receiving a CI can do so after and most cochlear implant users report a significant improvement in their quality of life with their CI. If you or your loved one has found that hearing aids are no longer providing sufficient benefit, this is the time to be evaluated for a cochlear implant. To find a cochlear implant center near you where a full evaluation can be completed, go to the American Cochlear Implant Alliance website and click on Find a Cochlear Implant Clinic. Your journey to improved hearing can start today.